Gibby Gang, let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Is, it, is this a real video? D. Gibby reacting to Slipknot again? Hold on, wait a second. Yo, Gibby gang, stand up with your boy, Maggots. You just get me excited. That's why I can't help myself. The energy is electric. We're super high today, as usual. Y'all know how we roll over here. But Patreon family, y'all made this happen. You voted on my poll, and you said Slipknot has to come back. This is my 41st Slipknot reaction. We're not a rookie to this. I got a whole Slipknot playlist on the channel. The last one I did was all the way back in October of 2020. Put the little, the little noggin plugs in. This song actually was on the Grey Chapter album. Uh, I believe it was a year after Paul Gray passed, RIP to Paul Gray, the late great legend of the group, man. Uh, in an interview with Kerrang! Magazine, Corey Taylor spoke about this song. The song itself is called If it's, If Rain Is What You Want. He said, this is the, the melancholy Kali look at how people wanted us to deal with Paul's death. And listening to that song, I see us on, on a stage just in silence. And millions of people looking at us with the ideas of how we should grieve already set in our minds. And maybe that's completely opposite with how we were trying to deal with it. And lyrically, it's us saying, look, we're the only ones that really understand what we're going going through that was our best friend our family you can you can expect us to break down and cry but at some point we have to stand back up so if you don't know what melancholy is it's like a, a person appears very calm and has everything together but deep down they deal with a whole bunch of emotions sadness depression things like that so it looks like they're composed on the outside but everything is usually not what it seems on the surface you got to dive deeper let them grieve man they lost their best friend their bandmate like it's, it's Paul Gray, so let them deal how they're going to deal, but I'm here for the music, so as long as it sounds good, some, somewhere along this 6 minutes and 20 seconds, then I, I'm rocking with it. Let's get it popping. With my banger shades, and I know these going to be on. I get wild in these Slipknot reactions. Huh? This about to be nasty, huh? Turn this thing up. Hold on, this volume ain't this ain't this ain't loud enough for a slipknot reaction. Now hold on, wait a second. Yeah, that's gotta be all the way at a hundred. This gonna be a headbang or we're gonna be sad depressed. What are we doing? Is Jay Weinberg on the drums today? Y'all know Jim Root, Nick Thompson, them, them my boys on the guitars, but who's on the drums though? I believe it's Jay. I'm probably wrong. It may be uh, Jordison. one of them jeepers creepers type of vibes i like it though it's just it keeps you wondering it's very mysterious but it's you can feel the emotion the raw emotion like it's monotone because on on the surface we seem we have like we have it together but you close your eyes man you really sink into that grievance and you really deal with that loss or, or whatever it is you're going through and it's painful man life is hard but you got to find things to grasp onto and keep pushing for that person for that for yourself at the end of the day like you got to you just got to find ways to keep on climbing for it. I know it sounds easy. I know it's not easy. I've lost loved ones. I know y'all have lost loved ones, dealed, dealt with, uh, dealed, come on, D. Gibbs, get your English together, but dealt with situations that are, like, unbearable to describe. I understand you. I, I can sympathize with you, but at some point, 
deal with it, grieve, and then use that as fuel to push forward and honor that person by living the best life you possibly can. That's what they would want for you. They want you to be happy. Deal with them, remember them. Never forget them, but you got to keep going, man. You got to. Come on. Is there any chance in hell? Mm. Any chance at all? Yeah, it's hard. It's there, though. And take your seats. Enjoy the fall. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Enjoy the fall. You might as well. Well, I know Iowa is ready to shake the building. I know y'all are ready to rattle some domes, equilibri equilibriums drop to the floor, head rattling. That's what I'm ready for. I know it's got to be coming at some point. We got two minutes, 47 seconds up. I know it's a different kind of song. I know it's not supposed to hit a certain way. But I'm as a fan, as a head-banging, slipknot maggot fan, I'm ready to be dropped off. I'm ready for the, for the keg to be banged left and right. I'm ready to go next for Paul Gray. You know what I'm saying? Come on. That's what he would want. Can't be right. Is it solace like that? That don't sound like what what he's saying. Hold on. I know I say hold on a lot, but y'all you're already tuned in. You're not you don't really gotta hold off. But that's just you know certain things you say like fillers. People say um. People say all right. People say things like mine's hold on. I don't know why. Don't, don't hold the phone. Keep on pushing. deeper into the feelings we're starting to deal with it now we're starting to deal with the problems 
It's not even a problem. We're starting to deal with the loss, with the with the pain, the sorrow, the is he is he really gone? Is she really gone? Is is life really hitting? It, it is. Like it's hitting. I I don't know what solace means, so I gotta Google it. Give me gang. I'm I'm transparent with y'all all day long. I wanna know exactly what solace is when he says my solace. He says Com solace, the definition according to Google could be completely twisted off the rocker, comfort or consolation in a time of distress or sadness. So his his comfort, his his way of dealing with things in, in, a, in a tough time, if, if you want rain, this is this is this is what you get. This is his way of dealing with it, man. This is the only way I know how. So I'm, I'm gonna fade to the back, I'm gonna still perform, I'm still on stage delivering for my fans, but you can't tell me how to grieve. You can't tell me how to go through this loss. Only I can deal with that. So at some point, I'm going to close my eyes. It's hard to sleep as is. We may never sleep again. I'm just going to slowly get my composure back, slowly get that confidence, slowly get that, that love for performing back again after I lost my friend, my partner, my right-hand man. R.I.P. to Paul Gray, man. Y'all y'all let me know anything that, that I need to know. Inform me, humble me if I'm way off the rocker on my uh, interpretations and the way I uh, related to the song. Please let me know. Shout out to the whole, to all my Slipknot family, my Maggot Nation, Iowa, everybody who is involved with Slipknot and loves this music. I love you right back. It, it don't matter if I voted for Trump. It don't matter if I'm a Christian, God-fearing man. We can disagree on that, but come together on this right here. Let's have a respectful conversation about music. I love y'all, man. I rock with you. Hit that notification bell. So next time I post a Slipknot reaction, it won't be nearly as long, I promise. You'll be notified. YouTube has basically blacklisted my channel. You can tell by the views that I'm not getting the, the love and, and care that my channel I think deserves. Maybe I'm wrong. Is what it is, man. Comment, hate, love, do what you gotta do down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just have a great day, man. I'm praying for you. Whatever you're going through, have your solace. Have your, your time and, and ways of dealing with things. And then eventually you gotta deal with it and push on. A lot of people get complacent, stuck in that situation, and you never try to get up. You gotta try to get up. You gotta claw, scratch, jump, leap, dive, do whatever you gotta do to, to get back in the game. You can't sit on the sidelines forever. Life is, you only get one of them. You never know when it's gonna be snatched from you way too soon or the people around you, their life is snatched. So don't take any moment for granted. Your life, your uh, situations that you're in with other people, make those memories, make those moments, but you gotta keep on going. You can't sit there complacent, comfortable. Go after those things you want. Say the things you wanna say. Do the things you want to do. Because you you may, you may never know when tomorrow is gonna be that last day. I love y'all, man, for right now. D. Gibby. So you want to learn how to trade. You've made it to this point in the video. By, by this time, it's the end of the video, and you want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to do what your boy does for every every single day. I teach people how to do it. I've been doing it, but I don't think you really have what it takes to do it. If you do, you'll get a hold of me via Instagram, via email, whatever it takes. Don't believe the hype that you see on Instagram as far as like I am Academy, and I'm calling them out. All them them special gurus that make it seem easy, that send out signals, that, that give you money in the bank. It's not money in the bank. you got to put in the work time after time. It's going to take you a solid six to 12 months to you heard what I said six to 12 months to really attain this skill set and be able to discipline yourself to be consistent in making money it's not going to happen overnight nobody can just hand you money if people are handing out signals and they're handing out all this and that it's fake don't believe the hype man they don't allow anybody to put to put your money in their hands man you got to learn how to do this skill set on your own so you don't have to rely on anybody to trade but yourself man so if you're if you're serious about it if you're tired of the situation you're in you see what i've done over the past five years you see how i've worked my way from from being from illinois to living on the beach in florida i'm not going to say where because it just disclosed information y'all see this post on instagram y'all see where i'm at i'm not doing that to flex i'm saying what's possible through trading after you put in the hard work time and time again if you really want to learn Get a hold of me. I would love to help you. If not, if you're happy with your present lifestyle, that's perfectly okay. I'm not on a pedestal. You're not on a pedestal. We're all on the same page. I'm just saying if you want to learn another skill set and acquire some, whether it's a supplemental income or a full-time income, I'd love to help you. So get a hold of me and we'll make it happen. If not, man, y'all have a blessed day. I'm gone.